Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. So, I wanted to just uh, kind of stop by and um, say hello. And uh, go over a couple things of, with you with my planting or lack thereof and what's kind of been going on. Really feel like I'm kind of behind this year and things aren't going as planned. Um, trying to manage schedules and all that. When I first started this channel, um, it was... Uh, actually, when I first started the channel, I had done it more as a diary. Mitzi and I had done it kind of as a diary for our other property, which we haven't done a whole lot on, but it was something that like the few friends and family members would watch uh, just to kind of keep up with our weekends out there and what we did. Uh, then I decided to turn this into more of a gardening homesteading channel, and uh, that was in 2020 when I started to do that on a regular basis. Uh, right before I got laid off from my job due to the economic downturn that was caused by COVID. Uh, so at that point, I didn't work for a couple years. I just spent my time um, gardening and doing YouTube videos, and, and I spent a lot more time with my plants. Fortunately, I had some investments that I had made and that they had paid off, and I was able to take some time off of work. Uh, as well as do a lot of projects around the house and whatnot with... Um, remodeling as well as like building the greenhouse and things like that. Uh, so it gave me some time off and I was spending all this time with my plants. Then I uh, started working uh, back for a government contract job uh, as a data analyst and, did, and it, was, it was a contract period that I did for like a year and a half. But that job, I would start at like 5 a.m. in the morning, get off at 1.30 in the afternoon, and then I had all afternoon to still do all my gardening, YouTube, editing, all that kind of thing. Um, but then that contract ended, and now I work in, um, I guess you'd call it a mix of publishing, marketing, um, ad creation, that kind of thing. Uh, I won't get into details of the company because I don't need to put all my details out there, but... Uh, I work a regular 8 to 5 job. I am able to work from home, however, I am on my computer in my office for the full day. And so when evenings come, I just basically log off, get some dinner, and fall asleep on the couch and don't spend a whole lot of time taking care of uh, my other stuff until the weekends. So it limits the amount of time that I can do things, which probably a lot of you uh, are facing most of the time. When you're working full time, you have less time to do your gardening, uh, you know, all the time. Um, so that all aside, if you saw one of my early, uh, video a couple weeks ago, I had talked about how a mouse had gotten into my onion seeds that I had started in the basement and it tore up my trays. I have two trays of onion seeds. This one actually is the better of the two. You can see I have a few sprouts coming up, but this is just awful compared to what my onions normally would look like at this time of year. And, I, and you, maybe you can see there's some holes there that the mouse had dug out. Now, Mr. Mousy uh, rode the electric chair in my rat zapper and he's gone now and I haven't had any other problems. I still have the trap set up just in case another one shows up, but uh, I had to kind of wait and see what happened with the damage. And as you can see, it didn't turn out too well. And the ones that are in here are looking really sad. Part of that is because I didn't keep up with the watering. And something else is like, oh, what are those tomorrow? They're looking a little dry. And then I'll do it. And then I come down here and everything's all wilty. Uh, but today I'm going to refill these holes with some more of my onion seeds. My other tray, I think, has about four or five onion sprouts coming up in it when there should probably be like 60. Um, so I've got to fill in some of the holes, patch up some of the dirt and take care of that. The other thing um, that I have going on down here, which I showed you before, is I do have, I transplanted that basil and it has really, I mean, this is one of the transplants. I've got four in there out of the main pot and they've, really didn't go through I thought they would go through more transplant shock because I had kind of yanked them out and then just replanted them but they took off right away and I think a lot of that had to do with the nice heat uh, that I had going on in there and the light with the mylar blankets but this one 
this one actually looks pretty fantastic. But a couple of them are starting to get, I think they're getting up a little too close to the light. If we can get that on there. I don't know if you can see that it's got some brown spots, almost like it's gotten a little bit of burn from the light. And I think actually, um, since I had the thing completely covered in the Mylar, uh, it over, now that the plants are getting bigger and closer to the light, along with the Mylar uh, reflecting back in, it, I think the light got a little too intense. So I took off one Mylar blanket off the front to kind of let it more light leak out. And also I unzipped it so it wouldn't be quite so hot. Uh, and these were other things that I also, I w I've been really trying to kill my freaking little bit of cilantro I had here. I uh, didn't keep up with the watering. And I looked at it one morning, I was like, oh, that soil looks kind of dry. I'm gonna go down at lunchtime and I'll water my plants. Well, I forgot and I didn't do it. And I came down that night and they were all like wilted over, had some yellowing leaves. There's still some, you can see a couple of the little yellowing leaves in there. Uh, so, um, I did get them watered. They pop back up again and the soil feels pretty good now. I think we're, we're good there. Did some bottom watering. So, but I wanted to have other things started by now. Uh, I was going to wait till this weekend. You know, here we are in the middle of the week. Um, but I felt like I should give myself an extra two or three days because things are starting to get, even though we're at the end of February, things are, seem to be getting a little warmer overall. Looking at the two week forecast, we have a lot of days in the 50s and 60s. I think that since we've been, um, you know, our, I, I've always been zone 6B, but this year we've been changed to 7A, which means our winters are about five degrees warmer on average than what they were 10 years ago or so. Um, and I'm noticing in the spring, things seem to be heating up a little faster. So uh, I think I might be able to get some things in the ground sooner because my frost date or my plant date used to be like Mother's Day. Um, now it's like April 17th to 25th, depending on which website you look at. So I'm a you know couple weeks earlier that I could probably get a lot of my stuff in the ground. So I need to start stuff inside a little bit earlier. Uh, so I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, I'm kind of all over the place down here. Look, look at this. I'm knocking stuff over. Things are all unorganized. I got seeds all over the place. Uh, I just came down here and put some water in the onions. And when I was doing it, I spilled some and dumped some on some of my seed packets on one of my bean packets. So I had to empty that out because I was afraid they would rot or whatever and get them in a dry area. I'm just... I'm just a mess right now. And I need a drink after the work week and the, and it's only Wednesday, dude. Uh, so I'm going to get some of these onion seeds planted in here tonight, but I also wanted to get a couple other things started and I'm going to do more this weekend and I'll probably do another more coherent video this weekend of more organ organization, get things straightened up this weekend, get kind of some of my early plants going. But, so I got some more of my onion seeds and I've got a couple more packets back there that I think were opened that weren't finished from the last one. So I'll, I'll re-get the onions going again now that Mr. Mousy's gone. But I also wanted to get a couple other things started. One is the coffee plant that I got from MI Gardener, because I, talked about these on my seed haul video or one of my seed haul videos uh, and I'm not really sure how long they take uh, let's see days to germinate two to six months seriously well I should have started these six months ago Days to germinate, two to six months. Days to maturity, three to four years. Well, now that I knew, but two to six months? You guys ever planted any seeds that took two to six months to germinate? The longest thing I ever planted that took a long time was rosemary, because that can take maybe up like 21 days to maybe a month uh, sometimes. But 
two to six months. What in the same smell? Start indoors eight to 12 weeks before last frost. Well, I should have started these at Christmas time. Well, I'm gonna get these started anyway, and we're just gonna work through these this year uh, and follow along and see what happens with this nonsense. These are the most expensive seeds I bought. You get five seeds for five bucks, so they're a dollar a seed. So I hope I get a good germination rate on these bad boys. Uh, I want to do, I'm going to start just a couple, maybe three pots of, looking at my pots that I filled, uh, three pots of the walking stick kale. Look how tall they get. Dude's standing on a ladder picking kale. But I wanted to maybe put some of these down by the greenhouse and see what happens. And, uh, but because I do have issues with things like cabbage moths and nowadays the spotted lanternfly, which I don't know if they're attracted to kale or not, but definitely the spotted lantern, or definitely the cabbage moths. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Well, I wanna get them started early before the cabbage moths start coming out so I can get them established, get them going inside, and I can put them outside. If they get going well enough inside, I can put them out really soon, like way before uh, I would put out things like tomatoes and peppers and stuff. Uh, same thing with the filter kraut cabbage. This is something that can be started early, just like any of your cabbages, broccoli, stuff. You know, you want to get those things going. I probably should have already started these. Um, so I figured I'd get a couple of pots going. I'll do more this weekend, but I just wanted to get something in, in some soil this, uh, tonight. So we're going to get those things started. And this is the mess that's been going on. Uh, I have a lot of organization to do. Things are just, I feel like things are not the way I like them. I like to have everything organized and set up and I have not taken the time to do that. And that will be my plan this weekend. But, um, I don't know what's going on with you guys. Are, are you feeling disorganized? Are you feeling behind? Are, uh, you know, depending on what area you live in, it might be planting season. It might not be planting season yet. You might be just getting things started. I'm here in zone 7A in Western Maryland. Um, so there's definitely, my onions should be farther along for sure. But Mr. Mouse ruined that. Uh, and there's some other plants that I probably should have already started by now to get the, you know, some of my cold crops outside, but we'll get them started this weekend and between now and this weekend. And, and hopefully I can catch up and feel a little bit more put together than I am right now. So let's get into fixing some stuff. Okay. So first we're starting out with the onions and some of these like little sections. I, they've been, uh, watered now. Um, so the soil is damp. Um, but some of it has some serious holes in it, which I'm trying to fix now. And we're going to get some more seeds in there. This is the uh, Globo onion that I've talked about on a couple of different videos. Sorry about the glare. I'm trying to work this around the lighting here. But um, had a few seeds left in that packet. So we'll see if we can't finish this off here. Put a couple little seeds in each one. You know, when you have these kind of setbacks, it's frustrating. And then not taking the time to fix it right away, which it did take me a little while to catch the mouse um, and get that problem resolved because I tried a couple of different traps and stuff before it finally worked out, finally got rid of them. But then after I got rid of them, I mean, that's been over a week ago and I should have got right back in here and planted the seeds immediately. And I didn't. So now I'll be paying the price for <clears throat> being behind on my onions. So those are the coffee bean seeds that we're going to plant now. I've got these different pots lined up here on this side. And of course I can't find my marker, 
but I did uh, to write what was in here, but I do have them color coded and I'll come back and write them later. So I might be waiting for a while, apparently two to six months before we even see anything here. So we're just gonna put them in the dirt. I've already got, um, I kind of did a little tiny bit of top water. As you can see, it's not a whole lot. Uh, but I also have bottom water to let the, the stuff soak in from the bottom, the, the water soak in to kind of dampen the soil. And we're just gonna cover all these up. Spray a little bit more on top of each one. We'll get some moisture. And then I'll have to water probably again, maybe tomorrow night or something. And then in these pots, I've got these marked out. I'm going to do three of the walking kale and just two of the cabbage tonight. I'll get more into this uh, this weekend. Okay, so that is the planting for this evening coffee, walking stick kale, and some filter crop cabbage, and replacing the onion seeds. Um, and hopefully things, I'm sorry, this isn't my best video. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'll even post it, just because everything is such a mess, but maybe this is more reality uh, and dealing with some of these issues and kind of feeling down, even though, you know, we're coming into spring. This is normally the time where I get excited about things uh, and start planting and, and um, try to stay, po you know, I'm normally very positive about things. But for whatever reason, you know, I'm very disorganized this year. Um, February is also an anniversary of, uh, I, I've had three good friends that have passed away in the past five years in February. Um, so maybe I'm feeling some of that too. Um, but I don't mean this to be, you know, a downer type video. I just wanted to kind of share a little bit of the planting with you and um, show you some of the challenges and things that can come up, whether it's work schedules, mice, winter blues, losing loved ones, whatever it is, you know, sometimes you feel that pressure on you and things don't always turn out as good as that you want them to, but they can also be turned around. We are early in the season uh, and I still have, once I get everything organized, I think I'll feel a lot better about things down here when I get my other greenhouses going. In the next couple of weeks, I'll be starting tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, all kinds of different things I'm gonna be getting going down here. More stuff this weekend. I'm, I might even start some beets this weekend. Um, so this wasn't really a how-to. This was just a, uh, hey, hope you're hanging in there kind of video. Uh, and I hope that your planting is going better than mine right now. So, if you've taken the time to watch the video this far, appreciate it. And thanks for hanging out with me again today. And uh, whatever's going on in your neck of the woods and your planting and, and uh, starting seedlings and all that coming out of winter and getting ready for spring. Um, I hope it's gone fantastic for you. And I hope that uh, you guys stick around and visit me when I'm having better days than this. Uh, because we'll have a lot of cool stuff going on this year, just like every year. Uh, I don't know if I'll do too many build projects this year because I'm kind of running out of room to build things, even though I kind of get the itch to build things. Uh, I can even build so much before it starts looking like a freaking circus in the backyard. Uh, but a lot of different plans on uh, different types of plants, covering different types of plants, more tips and how-tos, and... Um, you know, we will, we will go from there. And uh, I hope you will subscribe to the channel. And if this is the first time you've ever seen this channel, I, uh, I'm sorry that this wasn't 
maybe what you were looking for. Maybe check out some of my old stuff where I do better, better things. Um, and for those of you who are here regularly, thank you for hanging out and dealing with me today. Uh, we will catch you on the flip-flop. We'll see you soon. Namaste. This weekend I'll be better.